On September 15, 2008, the prominent Wall Street investment bank Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy, deepening the financial crisis that was gripping the U.S. and Europe. In Hong Kong, the bankruptcy caused losses of over 20 billion Hong Kong dollars to over 40,000 holders of mini bonds. The investors, incensed, took to the streets. What were mini bonds and how did they get into retail investors' portfolios? This case examines one set of mini bonds, Constellation Series 82 to 85. We use a fictitious Hong Kong bank, Baoan Bank, which was considering the distribution of mini bonds. And we ask Mr. Choi Yoguan, the former deputy chief executive of banking supervision of the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, whose regulatory career spanned more than 30 years, to reflect on these considerations. Net uh, interest margin of banks narrowed you know, substantially. You're talking about, just to give you an example, if you took out a um, residential mortgage in the mid 90s, you are paying prime plus 200. Basis, 200 basis point. And compared with today, you are paying probably prime minus 200 basis point. So there is a 400 basis point difference. So a bank can no longer you know, rely on um, you know, um, uh, interest margin as their you know, main uh, you know, revenue. So banks have to be very careful um, you know, how to utilize you know, their capital, right, which becomes a very scarce uh, you know, resources. Banks, uh, you know, have to um, diversify into non-interest uh, income area, uh, mainly to provide, you know, financial services uh, to their customers. And also, you know, from the customer's point of view, um, you know, they have accumulated, uh, you know, more and more, you know, wealth that they want to uh, invest uh, in uh, different financial products to enhance, you know, their, their return. Banks are special. Their debts are society's money, and modern society needs money to measure activities, a unit of account, to make payment for goods and services, a medium of exchange, and investments, a storehouse of value. Bank customers want their investments to appreciate, so they ask bankers for advice and access to good investments in addition to deposits. Now for the banking regulator, that means that you know, we also have to transform ourselves from what used to be a prudential regulator to a conduct regulator because you know in selling of uh, you know financial services uh, you know banks are no longer exposed themselves to uh, credit risk but to things like reputation risk bankers could make money by charging for their advice but more money is made from product distribution fees and building customer loyalty by offering better fuller financial services Customers consider many investments, including deposits, bonds, stocks, derivatives, and structured products. When um, banks are providing wealth management services, then there is always the um, dilemma that you know banks and their staff want to you know um, do as much business as possible so that you know they can enhance their commission income. A structured investment is a combination of simple securities in a shell company or special purpose vehicle. The SPV issues new securities, which are the structured investments purchased by investors. Structured products is you know, just one type of uh, you know, um, investment products um, designed in such a way to help enhance the uh, return, right? Uh, because if you just sell you know, plain vanilla you know, products, um, the, the return normally is, uh, you know, um, quite close to the um, market level of, uh, say, interest rate. A structured product can still provide a better return to the customer. Each series of Constellation Mini Bonds was issued by an SPV that bought low-risk bonds and paid for them by issuing bonds of an equal amount in a process called securitization. The bonds are asset-backed securities, or ABS. To increase SPV returns, it issues guarantees called credit default swaps, or CDS. The CDS are bets that a reference entity will default on its bonds. The CDS protection buyer pays a premium to insure it against reference entity default. 
If the reference entity defaults, the CDS issuer pays the CDS buyer an amount equal to the difference between the market value and the face value of the reference entity bond. Investors should not just aiming at um, you know, making a better return and then you know, just forget about you know, the risk of the product. Right? Because you know, there's always that risk-return relationship um, is you know, very true. Right? The higher the return, the higher the risk. The SPV combines the CDS premia with the interest from the bond. Mini bond holders would enjoy higher interest but would suffer loss if the reference entity defaulted. In fact, a Constellation SPV issued more CDS than the face value of the risk-free bonds the SPV owned. If any of the CDS reference entities defaulted, the SPV would be wound up after paying the CDS protection buyers. Bao'an Bank could profit from distribution. It could increase the investment set of Bao'an Bank's customers. But the real challenge to Bao'an Bank was how to distribute the mini-bonds responsibly. If the structure of product is so complex that uh, you know it, um, it's difficult for um, at least some of the retail customer to understand um, that might be you know a problem by itself. About 200 banks in Hong Kong are authorized by the HKMA. Just over 100 of those are also registered to sell securities. Although securities sales are regulated by the Securities and Futures Commission, if the sale takes place in a bank, the HKMA is the frontline supervisor. The investment advisors have to, um, you know, tell the customers, uh, you know, in very clear terms that, you know, it's not the products that are approved by SFC, but you know the um, <coughs> uh, selling documents. Uh, be it prospectus, uh, you know, whatever, the documents are approved by SFC. So, meaning that, you know, as far as the contents are concerned, you know, SFC is, you know, satisfied that the, um, you know, contents, uh, you know, is a fair description of the, uh, of the product. Every service is the interaction between a service provider and a customer. Sales of mini bonds by Bao An's personal bankers to gold customers would also be co created services. Mini bonds would be sold by personal bankers, officers like Sally Chan, bright, knowledgeable, a qualified certified investment advisor with IA certification recognized by the SFC and a great saleswoman. <laughs> Constellation the investment advisor has to, you know, do his own job to make sure that the customer understands fully, um, you know, what the what the product is and what what's the risk, you know, with that product. Whether a customer um, you know, can really you know, understand the product or not um, is the, again a judgment of the uh, investment advisor.
咧就係每年七點六厘，咁就會做六年，咁同埋最後一年咧就有十厘，咁我預算咧個回報嘅 average 咧都會有七點九四厘。咁即係好似存款咁，不過冇擔保。之前咧就 Constellation 債券啦，七十八至八十一啦，咁有一間係和記黃埔，就唔係銀行嚟嘅。咁我哋明白投資者咧係對銀行比較有信心，所以為你提供嘅債券咧都純粹係銀行風險。嗱，你諗下，投資者喺邊度可以揾到比美國 T bonds 仲高三個 percent 嘅回報，但係只係承擔銀行嘅風險？咁佢哋都係世界上嘅 top banks 嚟嘅，咁有目的啦，同埋 S P A plus 同埋 A A 嘅債券評級。Every investor wishes to maximize return and minimize risk, but in an efficient market, expected return and risk move together. So the investment advisor should know the risk tolerance of the customer. Only then can the investment advisor recommend appropriate products whose risk the investor can tolerate. The bank staff has to know your customer, right? Uh, understand their needs. Um, and um, understand, um, you know, the risk appetite of the customer concern, and then you know, make sure that whatever product that is sold to the customer is comparable with the customer's, you know, risk appetite. People just sign on the documentation, and then they're saying that well, although we sign, but you know, actually. We we are not uh, fully aware of the uh, you know risk of the product. An asset manager has a fiduciary relationship with the beneficiary, a moral responsibility of trust. Of course, if the banker is simply taking orders from the customer, the banker is not an asset manager and has no fiduciary responsibility. But even without an asset management contract. If a banker is advising a client, and if the client does not understand the products, and if the client relies on the advisor, and if the advisor profits by that reliance, a fiduciary relationship exists. I think we have also to um, you know, make sure that the customers themselves also you know, play their own part, um, you know, know what their own responsibility is. The investor themselves must make sure that you know they really understand what they are buying. So, this money is for these eight banks to do the mini bonds. Actually, it's not a mini bond. So, you buy the mini bonds through a bank called Hong Gu Company. So, that bank Hong Gu Company has the value of the mini bonds of the low risk insurance. And at the same time, that bank SPV determined the target of the bank to buy one dollar mini bonds, and it will also buy one dollar mini bonds of CDS. CDS is what? CDS 咧就係賭個 reference entity 啦，咁例如個銀行會唔會執笠嚟保障買家去買入？咁同埋咧俾 CDS 發行人每年 CDS 嘅 spread 嘅費用。咁而家 CDS 個 spread 咧大概係嗰啲銀行執笠嘅機會，咁每一日咧都有幾十億嘅買賣。咁全球各大嘅銀行啊、公司啊同埋國家都有佢哋嘅交易。咁以下係 Constellation 啦，呢八間 bank 近期 CDS 嘅 spread。咁佢都 show 到啦，個市場認為，咁個呢八間銀行啦，下年會倒閉嘅機會係五點七個 percent。咁係咪好抵啊？係啦，咁但係咧，你持有嘅債券啦，維期係七年噶嘛，咁所以咧個市場認為，咁七年入面冇一間銀行會執笠嘅機會咧係七成七。咁換句話講，個市場認為你有四分之一嘅機會可能會冇咗個本金，咁所以買埋你債券啦，就係你落住冇一間會。嗯。咁啊，咁即係個回報誒、呃、叫幾好啦，係嘛？咁都啱，咁只不過咧，實際上你唔會得到全部嘅 CDS 回報噶。咁因為個回報咧係 CDS 個 spread 嘅總和啦，加埋你七年嘅無風險利率。咁當然啦，埋你債券嘅安排人都會賺翻少少 spread 嘅。咁我哋保安銀行都會有少少啦，大概一點六個 percent。咁不過你放心，係一次性嘅
。咁我哋都知道，我嘅 bonus 都有一部分係根據結構性嘅產品嘅銷售成績嚟決定。咁所以作為 investor 啦，你會唔會諗下呢八間銀行所倒閉嘅機會啦，會唔會細過 CDS 個市場認為佢會違約嘅風險咧？咁我都知道啦，你有風險承受嘅能力去落住。咁所以如果咧你對呢幾間銀行有信心嘅話咧，咁我相信呢一份咧係正確嘅投資選擇。Constellation Series 82 to 85 was successfully launched because none of the reference entities defaulted, and because DBS, the arranger and CDS counterparty, is still in business. The mini bonds of Series 82 to 85 continued to pay interest and principal through maturity. For Constellation Series 78 to 81, however, Lehman Brothers was one of the eight reference entities. Lehman Brothers bankruptcy cost the CDS issuers. The SPVs in Series 78 to 81 about 80 cents on the dollar. All of the remaining CDS were wound up at the market prices at that time. Winding up involved using the funds of the SPVs to buy CDS protection for each of the seven remaining undefaulted CDS, but CDS spreads were much higher in September 2008, so buying that protection to wind up the SPV resulted in more losses to the mini bond holders. The buyers of Constellation Series 82 to 85 were lucky; their bet paid off.